Today's been a really good day. Still had a few arguments and disagreements with my mum and dad. But, um... We are in Echuca and I've had a great time here. I thought this would be... Oh, actually, the ride back was pretty scary. The ride to here was pretty scary because my GPS took me on some other alternative route and it's a three to four hour drive. So I was hoping, since this is Australia, I wasn't going to get sent to fucking whoop whoop where there's no servos. But luckily, there's always one or two shitty servos in between whoop whoop. So I always found one or two servos. Um, very expensive, very in the middle of nowhere. But um, Atrika's freaking awesome. I also wouldn't wouldn't have mind going to a place called... I don't know what it was called. It started with D. Delhi, Ganhoon or something like that. It was before Echuca, and um, they both were... Uh, Delhi Gan or whatever it was, had 15,000 population. No, Echuca has 15, I think Delhi Gan or whatever had 6. Um, the point of the story is, beautiful ride here, stressful ride, cause... <sighs> yeah, I thought I was avoiding the checkpoints, so I went on the other route. There was one, there were two routes, one with a checkpoint, one without a checkpoint. I took the one without a checkpoint route. It was a two minute longer drive, but it felt like a lot longer because I had no reception for most of the time and I thought at some points I was going the wrong way, but I just kept going and following the GPS. It got me there. Faith in the GPS, you know? Then when we got here, I had McDonald's and waited for my parents to rock up. It took them a while, but they got there. I beat them. Um, then we met up and Ever since then, we've just been pretty much hanging around the um, Echuca steamboat place. It was freaking awesome. We saw like steam and paddle boats and trains, and it was so cool. Like, it really was like the whole, it was like awesome. See, like Canberra, all we goddamn did was visit a few monuments and then just went around the shops. But this place, I've actually had fun. I, it's, for being a tourist, I've had fun. This, this Echuca place is awesome. Um, good, good parking too. Bike parking, car parking, easy, easy, huh? Um, where did we stay before Echuca? I forgot. It was a budget hotel room, and it was a pretty budget. And this one's a pretty goddamn budget too. You don't even have a microwave. My mum got these wedges. She put them in the freaking toaster to make them warm. And this TV, it's so hilarious, right? You plug this, plug this USB into the TV, and then the TV crashes. It's charging my power bank, but the TV will crash. It'll do it eventually. Um, I hope my sister and her husband doing and and their child is doing okay in France. Um. But yeah, today's been pretty good. It's been a hell of a day. There's a lot to talk about. Um, haven't had many disagreements with my parents, which is good. Um, had a really good time. There, yeah, the TV's crashed. The TV's crashed. I can't charge anything. I can't charge my phone. I can't charge my power bank. It literally, for some reason, draws, draws too much power and crashes the TV. But, um, got some good photos of Pixie. Um, they're pretty strict in Victoria with the COVID rules. Um, technically, I think this is a bed up here. No, I don't think so. I think it's storage. The lady's like, oh, this room's 90 bucks. And it's like, awesome, let's go there. And then she's like, oh, the room's now 155. We're like, what the, the you know. But, but we really enjoying it. My mum got to hear some back history of her dad's uncle who was a paddle boat streamer and all kinds of stuff. Like, I could go on about Echuca. Hands down, Echuca is really worth visiting. Really worth... It's so funny, when we got this hotel room, she gave mum a talking to saying that she... That this is a no-strike policy hotel. In other words, people cause issues here. 
and then they kick him out. He says, she said this is a one strike policy, and then she said, no, nah, it's not a one strike policy. Actually, it's a zero strike policy. So you can't do anything stupid or misbehave. So they kick you out instantly. This budget motel um, has a lot of rules for what it has to offer. But hey, you got a bed, you got a single bed, got a TV and a mini fridge. Anyway, gotta go, parents here.